Hey guys, it's Hannah here with you from Lyrics from the Throne Room of Heaven. So guys, I got some fresh lyrics for you today from none other than the purest Holy Spirit of the Living God. And this one is called, Don't Put Me in a Box. My brothers and my sisters in Christ. You who are viewing this, if you're not yet a child of God, I would like to strongly encourage you to consider giving your life to Christ, to consider inviting God and His beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. It all takes place when you invite Him in all three, and they're in one, they'll all be in within you, empowering you, encouraging you, and ultimately drawing you deeper in all things holy, righteous, just, and truth, and true. And eventually, you'll notice that your life is so much better than it was before you gave your life to Christ. And it's not going to always be easy, but you'll be secured eternally, that's for certain. And you will have so much love, peace, and joy, among many other wonderful things. And that is so worth much more than the alternative. So guys, in life, we have people that would try to put us in boxes, so to speak. They would put limits on us, they would try to put restrictions on us, they would try to say, okay, you're from this tribe, or you're from this family, or you're from this background, so therefore you can only achieve this, or you can only do that, or that's out of your reach. But do they have that, right? No. Should you give them power over you or allow their words to influence you? No. Should you put yourself in the box that they have created for you? Oh, no. So that's where, and this song was inspired from that unfortunate notion that a lot of people have towards other people. And I thank the Holy Spirit, thank you again, Holy Spirit, for reminding me that as a child of God, with his purest Holy Spirit alive in me, I am in no way confined or restricted to the opinions of others, and neither are you. So guys, as always, I hope that it blesses you, I hope that it empowers you, and ultimately points you towards Ava. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there Don't put me in a box Oh no Cause I won't stay So don't put me in a box Don't put me in a box Cause I don't belong there You act so tall for me my father said so, and I am the apple of his eye. He desired to prosper and to see me thrive. So don't put me in a box, no, no way, cause I don't belong. Don't put me in a box, no, cause I don't belong there. Don't put me in a box, oh no, cause I won't stay. So don't put me in a box, don't put me in a box, cause I don't belong there. Your father loves you. And wants the best for you. He delights in giving you the desires of your heart. So never settle and don't let people 
Put you in a box. Put you in a box. Cause you don't belong there. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there. Don't put me in a box. Oh no. Cause I won't stay. So don't put me in a box. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there. Don't put me in a box. Oh no. Cause I won't stay. Don't put me in a box. No. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there. So, my brothers and my sisters in Christ, you who are viewing this, when you go about your daily life, and for some reason or another, someone says, hey, you're not supposed to have this, or hey, you're moving too quick, or hey, um, I don't know if that's the best decision for you, and you know in your heart of hearts, you're walking in accordance with which your father has spoken to you, you simply respond and say, Don't put me in a box. Don't put me in a box. Cause I don't belong there. Don't put me in a box. Tell him, Don't put me in a box. Cause I won't stay there. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters in Christ. And remember, God didn't create us for boxes. The infinite, all-knowing, majestic, ever-loving, supreme, sovereign God made us in his perfection. And he has no restrictions on him. And as his children, he alone, he alone has the power to restrict us, not man. So be encouraged. Okay, guys, take care.